we present a new interactive video object cutout method that enables handling sequences with fast motion and strong foreground deformations. The Roto Brush tool in Adobe After Effects can't handle such sequences well. The directional classifiers of Zhong et al. also fail to track the boundary of the fast moving object. And here is the result of our new method, nicknamed Jump Cut. We focus on the task of distant mass transfer. Our basic observation is that the foreground and the background usually exhibit very different motion. So for distant mass transfer, image registration methods handling the foreground and background together will produce many errors. To improve the performance, we introduce the split NNF, which computes the registration of foreground and the background separately. The foreground is aligned by template matching. The background is aligned by matching surf features and then deforming the image using moving least squares. Next, Two separate nearest neighbor fields are computed for both aligned source images using an improved localized patch match technique. This is the initial mask estimated by our split NNFs. It may be seen that it's much more accurate than previous correspondence-based methods. Similar ideas are also used for mass interpolation. For interpolation, we align the foreground regions using shape interpolation and MLS deformation. The mass transfer then proceeds using separate NNFs as was shown before. Another key component of our method is edge classification. Based on edge color and orientation, we classify edges into three classes, background edges, foreground edges, and silhouette edges. The classified silhouette edges are incorporated into a level set method to obtain the final foreground mass contour. Without edge classification, level set may converge to false silhouette edges. Here we show an interactive video cutout session using the Rotobrush tool. Here we use Zhong et al. system. And here we use our system with sequential mass propagation. Note that our system requires much less user effort. We evaluated our system on several challenging datasets. Here are some visual examples. Our method produces fewer errors, especially for distant propagation and for the case of fast motion. This is a comparison between using simple patch match and our method for mass transfer. Please see the paper for a variety of quantitative comparisons. Given the results of distant transfer, mask interpolation can be used to segment intermediate frames. Here we show an interactive video cutout session.
Here we show a few results obtained by automatic mask interpolation between source frames spaced eight frames apart. Note that topology changes are handled well. This is the result by the rotoscoping method of Agawala et al. Finally, we show a few additional video cutout results. Thank you.